Hi, I'm here today with my first favorite video of 2013 and I have a wide variety of items to show you so I'm going to just jump right into it and get started. The first thing I have is this Orly Nail Polish and it's in Rage and it's a beautiful rose gold color and it looks so pretty on the nails. The next thing I have is Zoya Aurora and it's a really pretty purple with holographic glitter and I also just got this this month and it is so pretty. It's really hard whenever you order online to know how it's really gonna look in person, but I'm really happy I ordered that one. The next thing I have is Lush Sweet Lips, and it is so nice. I don't have a Lush store near me, so I can only get it whenever I go into the city. So that's what this looks like. And it smells like brown sugar. Yeah, I would say just brown sugar. That's definitely what I smell in there, maybe some caramel or something. What does it say? Mm. It says vanilla and cocoa, but it smells like brown sugar. The next thing I have is this Avon Solutions Plus Ageless Results Eye Cream, and I've been using this for a while, and I really like it to put on my eyes, under my eyes at night. It makes them feel so soft and moisturized, so I really like that. The next thing I have is this Corez Plum Lip Butter, and I absolutely love this. It's so nice, and it's going to last a long time because it's a big pot, and you don't need very much, but it's really pigmented. I'm surprised how pigmented this is. Can you see this? It's very pigmented. So I really like that. The next thing I have is this. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and Demolition. It's a really dark brown. I have it on my eyes today and I absolutely love this. It is so smooth and so creamy and I probably should swatch it for you. Whoops. Okay, sorry about that. There it is on my hand. Then I have two mascaras. The first one is the Falsies by Maybelline and I really like this one and what I do is I put this on and this um, mascara is really good when you leave it sit for a while. I do not like it when I first buy it but after about two weeks and it dries out some it's really nice. It has like a scooped wand you can see that and it adds a lot of length and then I go back in with Prestige My Biggest Lashes after I apply two coats of the falsies and just use this to separate them all so they're not clumped together because you can get kind of like a spidery mascara look with this and I don't really care for that. Then I have the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm and it says 225 on the bottom but I don't have a color name because it came off with the uh, plastic. But there's that and that's what it looks like. And these twist up, and here is a swatch of that, if you can see it. They're pretty sheer, but that one's right there on the end. The next thing I have is the L'Oreal Infallibles Amber Rush Pressed Pigment. And this is really pretty. All of the L'Oreal Infallible Lip, lip. <laughs> all of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows that I have purchased so far are all extremely pretty. And look how shiny that is. It is so pretty. And here's a swatch. You can see that. My hand's getting full. And of course, I didn't bring over anything to wipe my hand off with. Of course, I wasn't prepared. The next thing I have is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt. And I really like these a lot, but it's like a base. And here's a swatch of that. However, I have a problem with every one of these I have. The lids crack, and then when I put it on, it slides down too far and hits the tip. and makes it all funny. I don't know if you can see that in there. But, yeah. So, I try to be careful, but ends up in the drawer. Sometimes it gets pushed down. It's the only thing I don't like about those is the packaging. I wish I had a sturdier, a sturdier lid. The next eyeshadow I have is Wet n Wild Nutty. 
And this is the single color icon shadow. And this is a beautiful taupe color. And I love Wet n Wild shadows. There it is in the pan. And here it is on my finger. And I'll put this on my hand. There it is swatched. It's very pretty. It is a color you can actually just throw all over the lid and go. No fuss. And I really like it. But I like all the Wet n Wild shadows. They're really good. And then I have a Wet n Wild blush. And this is pearlescent pink. And this is a good thing that I don't have anything else to swatch because I don't have any more room. And here is this swatch on my finger. And we'll squeeze it on my hand somewhere. Get a little more so it shows up. And there it is swatched on my hand. I really like this because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And when I wear it to work, I don't need to put on a highlight or anything. I can just put it on my cheeks. It has a little bit of shimmer, so it lights up the face, and it's good to go. The next thing I have, I haven't had very long. I want to say maybe two weeks. And this is the Nivea Lip Butter and Raspberry Rose Kiss. These are awesome. I want to go back and get more, like every one they have, because they are so creamy, and they make your lips feel so good. So I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to go get more of these. And it has a beautiful, I just hit my nose, a beautiful smell as well. So I really like those. I hope I don't have anything. Okay. Then I have a perfume, and this is the Jennifer Aniston perfume. And it's just a roller ball, and it smells so nice. I probably won't be able to describe how it smells, but I just like it. It's not real strong. It's a very light feminine scent and it's just so nice. I really like that. The other thing I'm using is the Sheer Fragrance Mist in Pink All My Heart from Victoria's Secret. And I really like this as well. And I usually put this on after I moisturize when I get out of the shower. I'll put this on after that and let it dry down while I'm getting ready before I add up any kind of perfume layer on top of it. And then I have a Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray that I got from Hollerdale's. And I really like this. And, but I'm not sure which way I like to use it best. I think I like to use it under my makeup before I put anything on. Like over my primer but under my foundation. Because when I spray it on my foundation, I don't like how it looks. So I'm still playing around with this. But I really, really, really like it. I'm glad I bought it. Then I have something that was recommended by Makeup by Tiffany D. This is the Skin MD Natural Shielding Lotion. And I love this. I love it at nighttime. I put it on after I wash my face before I go to bed. And it's so thin, it feels like a serum. But, I can get that out to show you. It's just really thin and light. And can you see how thin that is? But it feels so so good and moisturizing and I wish I wouldn't put that on because I have more stuff to show. It absorbs so quickly though. I'll just rub it in and it'll be gone and we won't have to worry about it. The next thing I have is some earrings that I got from Avon and it's a seven piece set and they are so so cute. And my favorite are these little hearts right here. And the ones beside it, these multicolored little studs. I love wearing studs. And I don't know, you can't, there's the butterflies. Um, studs are my favorite earrings to wear. I never used to wear studs. I used to wear like a big chunky earring. But lately, I've been all about studs. So I have studs in today. I just love studs. Then, I have a couple random things. These are a three-pack, which I just got some more tonight at Walmart, of the mainstay storage trays and I think they're for three they're $1.97 and these are great for storing makeup and I brought one of my storage little things in to show you and I want to put this one back in here so you can see how it looks how they work so these are great this is how I have my L'Oreal infallible stored and then I have like a hard candy and like round ones in there you can put, you don't have to put round ones in here. I have square ones in these too. 
But these are really, really nice for storing stuff, especially if you want to stick it in a drawer or wherever you have room. Those are great. Then I have two food items and we're done. The first one I have is, oh, I got a Keurig for Christmas and I don't want to say it was life-changing, but it's kind of life-changing. I love my Keurig and so far I am really loving the cinnamon pastry by Timothy's K-Cups. These are so good. They're almost like a decadent dessert and I love these. Then the last thing I have is a cereal. And this is a new box because I just got it tonight. And this is the limited edition Special K chocolate and strawberry. Um, not a big cereal eater. And I saw this and I thought, oh, that looks so good. And I've had the Special K red berries before. And not that this tastes like extremely chocolatey or anything because it really doesn't. But it doesn't taste like the red berries either. It has a, a very yummy taste. And it reminds me of Valentine's Day, so I love this. And actually, I finished up a box, and I went today, and I picked up two more boxes. So I think these are only like at my Walmart. I think they're two eighty-eight. So that's all of my favorites for this month, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.